Hello everyone, I'm Roy from Elementor, and today I'm here to give you a very first look at Elementor 323. This version is packed with new features, a new pro search widget, which displays live results, seven ready to go link and buy widgets, a brand new floating button feature, as well as prominent editor performance and accessibility improvements. Updating to Elementor 323 increases the visitor's site exploration and empowers you to create pixel-perfect designs with the new and improved search widget. Let's dive in. Drag the widget into your page and begin customizing and styling the search input as well as the clear search and the submit button. You can change the placeholder text in the input, assign different icons for the buttons, and customize the submit fields. You can also choose how to send visitors to the result page by pressing enter, clicking on the search button, or both. Of course, there's a lot you can customize in the style and advanced tabs as well. But the biggest improvement here is the live results function. If in the previous search widget, visitors had to click search and then be redirected to a separate results page, the new search widget leverages Ajax to display live results. These results are displayed in loop format and open as a drop-down box under the search bar while the visitor is typing. The new widget will be active by default on all Elementor websites, but if you are working on an existing site, make sure to activate it from the Features tab. Let's see how live results work. Navigate to the Content tab and click the Results section to turn on and show live results. Choose which loop template you want for your live results or build a new one from the Theme Builder. Next, customize the drop-down box's layout by setting the number of columns and the number of result items to be displayed at once. Another thing you can customize is the minimum number of characters typed into the input before live results begin to appear. You also have the option to style the nothing found message. Using query is essential when you want to filter the results. In this example, I'm going to include all posts. Upgrading the search widget addresses the need for faster, more accurate content discovery on Elementor built websites. It not only brings design and functionality to the next level, but makes a big difference in the visitor experience. To put it simply, it helps visitors find what they're looking for. Next, we have floating button. This new feature empowers you to increase conversion by integrating a direct link to a chat or link users directly to another platform with a floating button. For example, you can use it as a WhatsApp button to trigger a conversation, a contact button with different links, an info button with all your important details, and so much more. Just make sure to activate it from the Elementor Features tab if you're working on a new website. Floating buttons are templates, so add them to your website by navigating to the WordPress admin, then Templates and Floating Button. Click on Add New Floating Button and choose a customizable pre-designed template. Now begin setting up your floating button. Each template can be customized according to the different content it includes. For example, if you're using the single chat template, you can choose the messaging platform like WhatsApp, Messenger, SMS, and so on. You would then enter information like phone number and email, as well as customize the avatar and the message in the chat. The style section gives you design capabilities and allows you to stay on brand by setting the color and typography of different elements, along with the ability to add its entrance and exit animations. Lastly, the Advanced tab allows you to choose where to position the button. Using the free version of Elementor gives you access to three of the templates, and you'll be able to display the button across your entire site. If you're using Elementor Pro, you'll get access to 40 additional templates and you'll be able to set display conditions to choose when, where, and to who you want the floating button to be displayed. To keep track on how well your new floating button is performing, we also added click tracking, a useful tool which you can access from the template tab in the WordPress dashboard. The third new feature for today is one that I'm sure you were waiting for, link and bio widgets. Version 323 introduces seven ready to go professionally designed widgets that cater to all your link and bio page needs. Also here, make sure first that the feature is activated. So whether you're looking for an easy first page to get started, need a quick solution for temporary content while your website is under construction, or want a simple responsive page that functions like a digital business card, we've got you covered. 
Each widget is built differently to match your needs, like promoting a service, displaying a business card, showcasing your portfolio, and more. You can choose from over 60 beautiful, professionally designed blocks that are now available in the template library. But of course, you can also make your own. You can find the link in BIOS in the new widget section inside the editor. Once you've chosen which widget you want to use, you can style it and customize its content. The minimal widget is available to everyone creating with Elementor. If you're using Elementor Pro, you will have access to all seven widgets. These new Lincoln Bio widgets are not only versatile, but also incredibly intuitive to implement and customize. With just a few clicks, you can create a responsive, polished, and professional page that effectively showcases all your important links. Elementor 323 also comes with significant editor performance and accessibility improvements. Nested elements allow you to create more complex and sophisticated website layouts, and it's now an inseparable part of the editor. While it didn't impact your website's performance, some of you may have experienced low loading time in the editor while using nested elements. To address this, version 323 upgrades the widget's infrastructure, so every change to the widget will only affect the relevant element and not require reloading the entire widget. This upgrade actually improves editor interaction time by 60 to 98%, empowering you to build advanced layouts seamlessly. We also have an update on element caching, which we introduced in the last version. It proved to be a significant performance booster for websites, which is why now it will be active by default for new websites, ensuring that more sites can take advantage of the performance improvements offered by element caching. Same for the top bar, which now moved from being an experiment to a native part of the editor. It's a great navigation tool and the ultimate addition to your web building workflow. You can instantly preview responsive views, access the theme builder, navigate between your pages, search through your website, and more. Lastly, let's talk accessibility. Over the past few months, we introduced a multitude of accessibility improvements and will continue doing so. One issue we were working on fixing was the difficulty that screen readers faced in identifying mega menu content. In version 323, we improved the infrastructure so that each menu item has its own content area, allowing screen readers to easily distinguish and identify them. There you have it, version 323, improving conversion and site exploration, giving you new tools to stay in contact with visitors, collect leads and organize your links, as well as significant performance and accessibility improvements that make Elementor websites faster and more inclusive than ever. So, let us know what you think in the comment section below, and of course, we look forward to seeing your results in the global WordPress community. I'm Roy from Elementor. See you next time.